All right. You know what? Ah, well, now it's... <laughs> Jeez Louise, that's way too late. Anyway, um, welcome back to the Mofa project today. And uh, today we're going to be working on a Mofa project, which is, you know, we're almost... Uh, we're going to fix some of the leaves and then we're going to add some more leaves to uh, the drawing. And then once that is done, I will end the stream again. So we're going to be working from leaf to leaf. And then if we can add some more leaves to it, that's always great, but you never know. Anyway, um, let's get started on this, and uh, I hope you're all going to enjoy. Uh, I hate it when, um, you know, some applications <laughs> are like, Oh, wait, I need to load, and then it doesn't load properly. Jeez Louise. It's quite problematic sometimes. Um, so now we're gonna add the coloring to this part and then we're gonna add the blurriness to it as well. So first things first, we need to have some coloring. There you go. I believe this is one of the colors that I need. And then we're gonna get this thing into that one. And we're gonna go to 75, there you go and full screen. So let's see if this works. Well, it works a bit, but it's not a lot of uh, coloring in increase. There you go. A lot more color increase. A little bit more. And then we're going to add some blur tool to it so that we can fix the parts that we do want to fix. And then we're going to continue again. So uh, yeah, um, today I actually finished the uh, stones of the stone calendar. So that's actually quite good. The, um, what is it again called? The, um, the drawing that I need to do in February. That needs to be done by February. I actually finished. The, the stone part of it. So now I'm hoping that, you know, once I get to the point where uh, I need to be, so once I get, n now I need to add some new characters to it and get it all blushed out. So I'll show you later on. Um, there you go. Oh, wait. We should definitely add this to it. And add some more. And there you go. We now have successfully done that. And now we actually need to add a blur tool to it. Boop. Five is good enough. You can see definitely like, oh, well, that, that looks like, you know, totally blurred out. That's not what we want. Uh, this is the front view, so technically we should definitely get some uh, detail in there. So we're going to go for this, and we're going to be working on the front view. So so this is good enough, I think. So now we have the first part. Uh, we actually want some more because this is still detailed enough. I guess. Do we want this kind of bloom to it? Yeah, a little bit more on this side. Yeah, that's good. Alright, that looks great. Gonna add the blur tool to it so that we can fix the points that have too much blur or not too much blur. Alright, now we've done that. Uh, we can now see what uh, how much we have done. So if I now add this one back in and this one back in, ooh, 
this one back in this one back in and that one back in uh, we can now see like yeah so this one is more blurred than this one as you can see which is the whole idea of the tree so that's good um, now we should add this part right here to it uh, because well we need this because um, if we add this part we can then see like where we're we gonna go from there on all right uh, I need to shut down now the motherfucker itself so I can see so the idea is that we're gonna add something here we need some more trees right we need some more leaves right here so the drawing that we made back uh, back here this drawing right here that represents the tree uh, we need to add it a little bit so uh, why do we need to add it a bit because well it is not fully how I want it to be so I'm gonna be adding it with that one yeah, that's good enough all right so what I want with this is that I want it to be a little bit more higher and I want this to be gone so eraser tool and I want this to be right over here so I want a tree part right here um, how do we get rid of that light is it in here no it's not in here all right it's in the other one then it's in the other drawing part this one no, this one. No. Where is that then? That it shuts down the other drawing. This one? No. Hold on. Uh, boop, 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 boop. I put it somewhere. I'm gonna remove this. Now I can look at where where is it placed. So if we remove this, then we have the full drawing. All right. So now, if we then add back in everything that we want it to be, this is the tree part. This is the other part. I'm gonna just casually move to see where the mistake is. Because we wanna know where the mistake is. It's in here then, right? Because if I add now, oh, because I didn't add. Uh, all right, fine, fine, fine. You got me, you got me good. So we want a tree right here. We want a tree leaf right here. And the main reason is why we want a tree part right here. The main reason why we want a tree part right here is actually that uh, we can add the. Um, we can give this uh, so that the tree is a little bit more, you know, uh, full of itself. So it gives more room to uh, perfection. Um, so this, this right here. Now this tree part needs to be fixed as well. Don't mind me just adding some more stuff towards the problem. Yep. There you go. Alright. We definitely shoot this like this. And now we have the tree part that we want. We want to have something like this right there. That is the new part that we need to draw. Why well, do we want this? Um, well, we actually need this a little bit more rounder. So I should definitely put this like this. Yes, excellent. So 
So this part right here is gonna be put uh, below the tree. Yes. Well, it's gonna be below this part of the tree, but not below this part of the tree. Mm. I need to do the tree in, du in double sections, don't I? Yep, I do. All right. Um, let's get started on this. So, I want this to be uh, below this, so we need to definitely put this on a different layer. And we should definitely put this on to a quick group. What is this? This is... Oh, 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 all right. Um, we want this to be below that one. That group right here. All right. So, we're going to draw right here. We're going to draw the bush. The bush. And the bush is going to be like that. All right. Back to drawing the with the pencil right now. Sorry if this takes a little bit too time, but better safe than sorry on these things. So this one is also below the drawing itself. So what is going on here is going to be like um, this. So we want like this kind of appearance on the tree and then we want this to be like so. All right. That will work. And now we need the quality. And now we need to do a quality, quality version of it. So we're just going to follow these lines and pretend that these are the lines that we're following. Of course, you know. It's a very hard thing to do, following the lines that just exactly needs to be like that, or that exactly needs to be like that. It normally doesn't have to be like that, but with these grass, or with these leaves, it does. Because they create the shape of the tree that we want. Alright. I mean... We're doing a pretty good job right now, so we we have fixed the we have fixed one of the drawing parts, and now we're going to be adding a new part to it. And that part might be looking a little bit more different than the part that we had before, because that's how this works. All right, um, I need to shut down the part of the drawing that I don't. Is it this one, or this one, or this one, or is it this one? No, it's the one that I need to do. Ooh, is it then this one? No, that's all of it. Yes, there you go. Now I can see. And why are we doing this? Well, because we need to. We need to see stuff. We need to know where things go and where things go uh, gonna be going. All right. I'm very happy so far how we are handling this. And we know where things go, so this needs to be drawn fully then, and then we're gonna add the tree to it, right? Yes, 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 we need to draw this fully. Um, so I need a guideline here. Um, guideline, like so. And that needs to be like in such a way, right? Like so, right? Uh, let's see. No, just a bit more, a little bit more 
roundish. Yeah, there you go. All right. Lovely. So we're going to go from down to up then, because that's better here, so... And these parts might look like, you know, your casual thing that needs to be drawn, but eh, it takes some time and effort anyway. So better just to be doing correctly, because everything needs to be looking pretty. That is a thing. If you ever wonder, like, how do you get from point A to point B? And then you think, like, ah, well, if I go from point A to point B, but I'm skipping C, then, well, that might leave some problems in. And then you're right about that. I really like how this is going. And how the, how the drawing is coming alive together by doing all the stuff that I already did. And, you know, working on these trees makes me feel really, uh, re really satisfied. Of course, you know, it's not like what I'm going to be doing later on, but once this drawing is done, um, once this whole drawing is done, um, I'm going to do a little, um, not tutorial, not the, the tutorial, not, not exactly a tutorial. I'm going to be trying to do an animation. That's for sure. I'm going to be drawing an animation. I'm going to record all the stuff and all the baby steps I'm going to take with this animation. And uh, the first thing first I'm going to be trying to do is first, of course, make the thumbnail. So I'm going to record the thumbnail and then put the thumbnail there. Or at least make the thumbnail and then start recording with the whole damn thing what I'm going to be trying to do. So that's the thing. And now we can see that we had we have drawn in the drawing that we want we draw the we draw the grass uh not the big parts of it of course but well the tiny bits and now we can see like uh well, what what do we want well we want something over here some recurrences here and we want some effects that need to be rimpled here and there and some good parts they might look like a little bit of fluffy clouds, but uh, it was my idea anyway to go for that fluffy kind of cloud of appearance anyway, because those are the Afri African trees. They feel a little bit high on top, the leaves are always on top, and uh, everything works just fine. Um, this is actually, again, our very Big drawing. Ugh. That's gonna be taking a long time then. To get perfect. Um how do I want to do this? I know that this is gonna be a, a round version, so this is gonna be like uh boop 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 and then boop, boop, boop like into a circle. Where do I want this circle to be? That's the question. So I'm gonna put this there, I'm gonna grab this and we're moving it up. So I want this circle to be over here, yes. I want this circle to be over here, so we should definitely not start here, but we need to keep in mind that there is a circle right here that we need to be relying on. Uh, deselect all and save. We don't want to lose any progress. <laughs> that would be the worst case scenario of, uh, oh my god, I did something wrong, <laughs> and that is not going to be happening. Not today, at least. All right, first things first, we're going to add some variety to the drawing. So we're going to add some nice little bits of tree there, here and there. And these things, you know, we're still we're still at the point where um we're still at the point where we can say like, well, the tree uh, we we still have we are still at the point where we can say like yes this is actually the tree representation because it's not far away yet so we can still go a little bit on the detail part uh, on the heavy detail part so that's good but once we are getting at the part where you know we don't want to be which is going to be the uh, far away part uh, we need to take a different approach 
well, we don't need to do a different approach, we just need to do a, a less detailed kind of approach. So we need to figure out, like, where, how are we going to do that, and how are we going to see if we are able to do such a thing. All right. You can see now already that, you know, I'm trying to keep on with the pointiness, because, well, it's very important that we keep up with the pointiness, because that's how these leaves work, the pointy. The tiny little leaves that you can pick up and pull out of the tree, and then, you know, you have, like, nothing else left. Yeah, a little bit like a like a horse, uh, horse flower. I don't know if you call it that way, but we call it a horse flower. It's just a flower that just springs open uh, in in uh, in the uh, it's it it loses all its uh, beautifulness after uh, a certain type uh, time. So I believe in spring it loses all its uh, all its uh, all its beautifulness, and then you know it just gets stripped of it, and then the seeds fly away by parachutes, which is quite cool. I like it. And, you know, this thing would look very ugly once uh, once the winter is gonna hit, but I think w I would say like, yeah, these leaves can be also like, it could be a leaf tree, but it could also be the um, kind of tree that always have those ne uh, needly kind of uh, leaves. So, you know, it won't lose its leaves in the autumn because of how um, the leaves are stored. It's quite a cool idea. And then I could say like, yeah, these things have pine cones in them. It's like, what? Why? Well, that's how the other things work. If you have seeds, you need to spread them. So one way of doing that is like making pine cones. The other way around is uh, producing some juicy uh, seeds that uh, are very, very, very edible. Castagne. Ho ho. All right, um, yeah, that looks decent. Now we're gonna turn around, do this again like that. I really like how this is going on. How we're just adding stuff to this. We're not, we're not, do, we're not doing anything wrong here. We're just giving the tree detail by adding the strokes in that we have already predetermined. And I'm putting that detail into the tree. Even though, you know, we have not yet touched the tree at all. We just touched the leaves. So, um, Anything more, I would say. Well, the whole, uh, the whole idea of this drawing in the first place was like, you know, I'm trying to do something here. I'm trying to keep this passionate, and I'm trying to keep, you know, my motivation up, on, up and running. And uh, yeah, it still has. I'm very, I'm very excited. Uh, well, I'm very excited to uh, see if um, once this thing is fully done, what people think of it. Even though you know it had some problems and had some quality issues. It's still, you know, a very good achievement because, well, I learned a lot from it. So it's a healthy experience. It's a good knowledge experience. And once this is done, oh boy, we're gonna do something fun. Because we need to learn some stuff and uh, that is gonna be a pain in the ass to do and I'm gonna be doing a lot of... Uh, a lot of things. So what I did uh, this week, uh, this day actually, I figured out how to do um, how to uh, what I want to write for the prologue of the Storm of Awesomeness. Um, the whole point, well, the whole problem with the Story of Awesomeness was like, uh, how do I get uh, from point A to point B? with a healthy transition. So I was stuck in like, you know, the first thing that I needed to do. And I could not get past it because uh, of how I structured the event from happening. And so I kind of fixed it. 
when I say fix, of course, is that uh, I <coughs> looked at the uh, looked at the idea of what and how do I get uh, certain things into this world that makes sense. Well, there you go. I figured it out how to make it look make make sense and get it onward. So uh, I actually made a prelog of uh, the event that's going to be happening. Of course, you know, the whole story is not there yet, but the event that I had in my mind and I wrote, I wrote it down. So the idea is that uh, this uh, wizard that can control the leaves and control the things just beats up a very bad, bad evil guy. All right, he beats up the main bad evil guy of the whole story. How does he do it? Well, you know, he has the power of leaves and he can transfer and he can try and he just, you know, destroyed the whole damn thing from the inside out because his forest got wrecked. His forest got uh, demolished. So he was a very, very pissed off person when, you know, the evil person was like, ha ha ha, I will send my henchmen to burn this forest down and then his henchmen got wrecked. And he was like, oh well, time to beat up this evil guy. And this evil guy, you know, Got his ass handed, apparently, because he found ways to, uh, he found weaknesses to the evil bad guys, minions, and then, you know, he used relics that he he acquired. Just gonna put it that way. And uh, everything got, uh, and ever, and the bad guy got defeated. So, you know, this, this dude just used relics, wrecked the whole, the whole damn shenanigans, and, uh, one, no, no need to explain any further there because, well, you know, how did he accomplish all these relics? How did he do it? Well, he is a powerful wizard. He's smart enough to know where they are because he just located them and then just went on a rampage to beat the beat the evil dude afterwards. But of course, you know, these relics were not meant to, not meant for him. So he used those relics, and well, they. After a use, they are gone. You know, you, you cannot use a relic again because, well, it's one-time use only. The whole point of these relics were actually to uh, give the main protagonist, I believe that's the word, yeah, main main hero, uh, an advantage against the demon lord and then win and triumph. All right, so that was how these relics were designed. Uh, but of course, you know, the the wizard got uh, got there first. And uh, beat it up the demon lord, or well, well, the evil bad guy. The whole point then <laughs> is that you know somebody doesn't like it when you know uh, you had this beautiful story written out, everything went well, and then somebody just crashed it and threw it into the garbage bin and was like, "No, this story is much better." And then you know the person who just wrote down the script for two years working on it's like. Am I a joke to you? So, you could imagine that uh, the person that was actually, uh, the hero that was actually blessed by the god uh, would be very, you know, disappointed of having this awesome journey and it promised this awesome journey and there is no journey at all. So, uh, to um, add, because, you know, he complains about it against, uh, against you know, his... Uh, his uh, his god or goddess I don't know if I'm gonna go for wh which one but he complains about it and then you know the god uh, the god just realized like excuse me did this person just ruin my entire awesome story that I just tried to create in two hundred years how dare he and uh, you know as as he tries to defeat the evil demon lord. The, the, the god just shows up and smites him down and banish him, banishes him. But, you know, the, the, the wizard is like, oh shit, I'm getting banished. No, 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 that's not gonna happen. So he tries to meddle with the portal while he's getting uh, and shoved another lightning javelin in his, in his face. And he dies, leaving behind the only thing that, he's, uh, that he has, that is the catalyst. So his body disappears and the catalyst is only allowed. The catalyst is a crystal, a green one, explaining the green crystal. But the funny thing is then that, you know, the green crystal shows up into the story again. 
And so I explained then how the origin of the green crystal comes into play. How did it ha how did the crystal got from point A to point B is by a tele uh, by a uh, by a por uh, by a portal by a banishing spell. Of course, you know, this banishing spell took time and, you know, time is not always the same. So therefore, that explains the time shift. So what I wanted to do was that you know the uh, the he the the bad the bad guy gets uh, the bad the crystal gets uh, gets yeeted into this other place, and then you know there's where the story comes. You know the girls find the crystal, the crystal uh, the crystal comes alive, and uh, then you have that shenanigans. Of course, you know the main bad guy is still there, but. Not right now, because, you know, there is something else. Instead of the green crystal, is now a green girl instead of the green crystal. And uh, all, uh, the bad guy only shows up once the, uh, once, once the girls get their powers sapped from the, from the person that actually can mimic the powers. So, uh, this guy steals power, uh, steals the powers of the, uh, of, of the girls and, uh, well, you know, it sums up what happens. He steals the power of the green girl. Green girl goes down. Turns into a uh, turns into a black haired uh, black haired woman, or well, a girl, and then you know, turns out that's then necro uh, that's then the wizard. So, the wizard was there all along, but the wizard is not you know fully access, not capable, fully absolutely out of his league. And somehow he figures out how to defeat the uh, the guy who takes out the power uh, takes out their powers by uh, let him uh, use the power that you know the green girl normally has, which causes the mechanical arm to explode, which had all the powers in it. Therefore, you know the guy needs to retreat. The bad guy needs to retreat, and you know the, the black-haired girl goes back to green. Hey, there you go. Explains the whole funny thing about it. I don't know if it's uh, it's solid, but eh, it's solid enough. It's solid enough in my book. Ah, uh, anyway, where were we? Oh yeah, we were we were busy creating leaves. <laughs> so uh, yeah, um. I'm very happy upon and I'm very fond of uh, doing all of this, you know, just working on my drawings, working all, all on all my work that I've been doing in the past two days, weeks, years, everything else. And uh, I'm very fond of how much I'm actually doing right now. Normally you would say like, well, this takes a long time, you know, all these leaves, drawing these leaves takes a long time. Yes, it's true. It's true. It uh, it's really true because we're already thirty three minutes in and we're not even there. We're just not even halfway there. We're just getting started on this drawing, which means that you know this thing is actually quite big, which is true. It's a big it's a big part of the drawing, and the more we do this, the, well, the more we draw, the more you know, the better it becomes, and therefore you know. We just need to take our time and just don't worry about it. I must say though, I'm very happy that you know uh, I finally figured out the prelog in that story because well you know it took a while <laughs> to figure it out. So yeah, after the Malfoc, I'm probably gonna be doing an animation and um, gonna be drawing the animations and then work uh, work with it try to figure out how to do the animations and then I need to also practice some other things so I'm gonna be doing some practices in the background <laughs> uh, one of the main practices I'm gonna be doing is probably doing some art drawings in the background or gonna be recording them one of the two uh, just to get more of a feel to uh, proportions and uh, ideas of how to do it of course, you know, the main main idea is that this animation is then going to be put into a full animated s series. I believe that's how I'm going to be trying to do it, even though I'm very bad at... Well, I'm not very bad at doing things, but I'm going to be trying to get that thing up and running like that. It's going to be a big thing. 
You know, if you ever want to do something solo, it's might it might look a little bit silly. But 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 you know, the best the best cookies are never baked without, you know, an accomplishment, you know. You want you want to have the best cookie ever as a as an accomplishment, then well, you have to work for it. Because nice cookies ain't ain't baked always. So yeah, I think that's how I did it. Oh, I totally butchered that reference, but oh well. At least just just work for your thing. It's it's very important. It's 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 very important to work for your accomplishments. Um. So yeah, I'm trying to do this my way, and uh, I'm gonna try to get this thing up and running properly. And then once all of this is done, the Malfoc will be looking nicely. And I'm very happy once this thing is fully finished, because then I can do at, at least something else. Then I don't have to look at this Malfoc anymore, and I will be saying like, I did this! And then people will say like, wow, you did this? That would have taken a long time. And I would say, yes, it sure did. And I would be, a com and I would be happy dancing on the moon singing all those stories about how great I am upon finishing this. It's like, do you remember, kiddo, when I finished the Malfa project? Oh, the satisfaction of being able to do something else is such a great, great satisfaction indeed. And then, of course, I would totally forget about how, you know, awesome it was to draw and all that stuff. No, 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 no. I need to remember that this is also very important for learning and giving myself like a pat on the back like you did well today congratulations and I would say like thank you me and then everything is gonna be fine uh, bu 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 37 minutes jeez Louise time goes by fast if you have fun but yeah um, this whole damn thing you know this whole drawing ugh. It will be a great thing to look at. Also, it will be a very great thing to brag about. Like, I did this. I did this. Of all the people did it, I did it. And everybody else would say, like, nobody is, nobody is that insane to just do this. Like, make handily drawn drawings like that. But, eh, maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit, but oh well. <laughs> I like to I like to exaggerate. I like to, uh, I like to do that anyway. I really like to create this kind of effect, the feeling to myself, like if I if I want to ever have satisfaction upon reaching something, it would be this. It would be like a satisfaction I like to have is always when uh, when things go good. It's like you did something great, good job, and I would be very happy upon that. That's why I always make myself very happy. Uh, well, that's why I'm always happy when. Uh, I make myself some cheese, some baked cheese. Oh, if I make myself a toast, then uh, it's gonna be great because you know the cheese is then melted with a golden brown crust on it. Mmm, taste only alone. It's so good. So yeah, um, being be uh, be uh, besting myself and doing what things and accomplishing new things. Like it is like there is. There is so much to learn. There is so much to do. And the only thing I do today was actually, you know, do my drawing, go outside, get myself some groceries, and then go back here, doing my drawing again. So, that's all good. Of course, I didn't do the drawing of the Malfoc today. Uh, well, I'm doing it now, but not today as doing the drawing, but yeah. The, the whole point of making sure that I'm doing this is all about, you know, making sure that I'm getting better at it. Being the very best, like no one ever was. That's the real quest. And being, uh, being challenged is my cause. So yeah, that's how I, uh, how I like it. I like, to be, I like to be challenged when it comes to these things. I like to be challenged at work as well. And uh, the more I learn about what I need to do at work, the better it gets. Because um, 
uh, last uh, last week, I believe. Yeah, lo last week. Yeah, l l uh, or this week at least. Uh, this week, uh, this week I actually had to do some uh, uh, tree scanning again. So I had to scan this object, and then we came to the realization like, oh my god, we don't have enough or uh, correction points, and that was like, wait a minute, we don't have enough points to point at? Oh no. So yeah, um, a lot of detail was wasted, and I was like, uh, but uh, you could do this and then fix it by ordering more, and then it was like, yeah, we could do that, but we don't have that time yet, and we went with uh, a little bit of a bad apple, let's put it that way, like we went with the alternative, like, you know, we were replacing some of them that already have been used, and so the the program didn't detect them, all of them. So after uh, working on the pro uh, after working on the project, I came to the realization that I could not scan uh, certain parts of it, and then I said to and then I said to my um, to the head chief, I said like, "Hey, um, we have this problem, this problem, this problem," and he says like, "Ah, oh, it doesn't matter." Just, just get, just get, just uh, create, create an, uh, just create an SEL file of, uh, of the scan, and I'm like, are you sure about this? And he was like, yeah, sure. So I created the scan, I created the SEL file, and then I realized, like, wait a minute, hold on a second, this is ain't the object that I was looking for. What well, turns out to be that actually the camera was. Uh, <laughs> The, uh, the 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 object that we have scanned in was uh, the picture that was taken from the scan. So the picture that was taken from the scan only had uh, certain points uh, accepted. So we had a we had an SDL file that didn't point everything. So we had like a fake image, like a zoomed in image instead of a full image of the object. Which was uh, a bit of like, well, um, looks like we have a new problem. <laughs> and then it was time to go home. Uh, I love that. I love that like, hmm, we have a new problem. Oh, well, time shit is over. Goodbye. <laughs> and uh, I actually wanted to fix that problem. Like, wait a minute, we cannot use this. This is absolute garbage. And then, you know, I, I just, I just said, uh, I, uh, before I went, I was like, hey, um, I just did this and, uh, I showed him the, I, I showed him the pro, I, well, I, I, I pointed out the problem that we had because I did not, I forgot to, I, I forgot to do a, yeah, I forgot to make a fucking picture of the, of the problem before I went to him. So I was like, I gotta, no, I don't have a picture. God damn it. <laughs> And so, yeah, um, always be prepared to explain things to your boss, uh, to your boss, and, uh, have a reference, otherwise explaining takes a long time. I probably was explaining for at least 10 minutes to just explain the problem Well, you know, uh, uh, while scrubbing the floor, removing some sand off the floor. And uh, he was working on the uh, he was working on one of the molds and then flip it over. So uh, yeah, um, it is one of those things that happen. It's one of those things that happen. You know, uh, little bits. Uh, every single bit of information helps to uh, get a clearer cl uh, a, uh, a clearer f viewpoint. Yes, viewpoint. Jeez, Louise, a clearer viewpoint of the situation. Then, why? Why is this green? Why? Why Why did it select green? Jeez Louise, please. Turn back to black. Thank you. I don't like green. I don't like all the green it said. So, yep. I don't like green when uh, I don't want it yet. Stupid, uh, stupid, uh, stupid uh, to always with that, with that sudden, like this. This, this, this is such a nightmare sometimes when I press it accidentally. Because I'm, uh, because my hand is, uh, my uh, pointing finger. Yes, my pointing finger is actually always on the button. Because that's how I hold the pencil. That's how I hold a pencil, and 
well, this is a pencil, so therefore, you know, holding it naturally causes a problem that is very annoying. And I cannot just instantly switch it because, well, you know, I'm in the middle of a stroke. And that sometimes uh, leaves some problems. Oh, well, it happens. Once I know how to fix that, I would definitely put that off. I would definitely put this out of the whole thing that needs to be there. So once I realize how to add it, that uh, kind of thing, then I would I would do it. I would definitely do it. I would definitely remove that option of selecting colors there because it's a it's a bit of a problem sometimes. And we're gonna go here and fix this part up. And why? See, like that, just like that. Boom! Instantly, I don't know if I selected black, and I didn't select black. Jeez Louise! So scary. So scary indeed. So scary. It's like, it's like, it's like October already, and it's already October. It will, October has already passed. Next time, I will definitely report this. Nah, I can't. So, I'll try to fix it one day. I don't have the time now. I don't have the. T I don't want to put the effort in to fix it yet, because it's not that of a big deal. It's just that it's a small, small, a small convenience that sometimes happens. And I'd rather work around it and you know fix it because still being able to select, uh, select your color is still a very viable option. I just need to point I just need to place my hand a little bit different. Oh well. Um uh, do 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 so as you can see leaves everywhere and there you go. And now I need to fix this part up a bit. Um now I need to look at things Oh boy, this is gonna be a this is gonna be a pain in the ass. Uh, bu -bu 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 yeah. All right, let's do this. We need to give this kind of feeling of trees, and I can see jack shit here. So there you go. Tiny bits, tiny bits, tiny bits, and. The main problem here is that I need to do it like this. Ugh. Jeez Louise. Yep. This is a very, very, very problematic thing. Because now I'm actually looking at pixels instead of the drawing. So I need to actually look a little bit further away with my head. And my head is actually turning. So that's not good. Probably should quit right now. Because of what my head is going to be trying to do now. My head is about to dance, so... Uh, epileptic, uh, an epileptic absence is a very annoying thing anyway. It always makes your head very heavy. And when you try to concentrate, everything goes to smithereens and you're gonna be feeling like a drag. Once that is done. Alright. That way. Alright, um, boop, 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 boop. Ah, that's decent. Alright, I'm gonna save it now, and I'm gonna put this right back where it belongs. Back into the holder. Alright, um, I hope you all have enjoyed for today, and, uh, thanks all for watching, and I hope I'll see you all next time. Until then, I wish you a lovely day, and, uh, bye!